So here we have in this picture an extremely faded image. And what I'm going to do is show you my technique for recovering the color and bringing out some of the original colors back into the picture. So here we have a faded image that's uh, totally uncorrected. You'll find that, you know, I've got a compound node here, but that's only just to remove the changeover cue from the end of the reel. So as you can see, if I bypass that, you can see there was the changeover mark in the print. So what I've done here is then added an extra node at the end. Now the first thing I do when I'm going to correct something that's faded is I look at the parade display. So as you can see here, if I uh, bring this up, I can see here that the lift on the red area is extremely high, which accounts for all this uh, pinkish red in the picture. The blue is a little bit high, which is adding to the red, which is indicating that's why it's getting magenta there. So what I want to do first is uh, balance this out. So what I do is the first step is I come directly to my lift area here and then balance this. Now I want to get these in line. So as you can see, now that I bring them in line, now the dark areas start to become more neutral. Do go some here. Let's bring it down. Okay, good. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is get some of the warmth out of the lighter areas of the picture. As you can see here on the scopes, it shows me the red is up, the green and the blue are down. So I come over to the gain area now. And now let's balance that up. So as you can see, now it's starting to look a little bit better. The film naturally has a bit of warmth in it. So what I want to do is retain that. And now I just, because bringing the red gain down so much, it caused the lift to move down. So I wanted to correct that slightly. Now what I'm going to do is come over to the gamma and now we just move this over away from magenta and we just start just search around for the colors that we want. So as you can see here, we bring this back into the picture. Something like that. So this way I'm playing around with the gamma curve a bit to bring that down. Balance up the lift again. Come back over to the gain area. Bring it up like so. And let's bring the gain up a bit. And we don't want it too much because this is a dark scene. They're in a train in the evening. And then we come over here. And we come like so. And let's come back to our gamma a little bit. Bring that down just a little bit. Come back with the lift there a little bit more. As you can see, I'm doing it all with the primaries in that area. Now, let's just come over here just a little more. Something like that is not too bad. This is good, good. So now we have this, okay. If we wanna see what it was like before, just bypass that node. That was before, and this is after here. And that's why using the parade display is ultimately the best scope to use for this situation because you can really see what's going on here. And you can see if you look at the waveform, it's not going to show you so much. And also, even if you look at the vector scope, you're not going to see so much going on there as well. And so parade display is probably your best resource for doing this type of correction. 
So as you can see, here is a wipe between corrected and uncorrected from the image. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. And for more tips and tricks videos, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, so this way you can be alerted to all the new videos that are coming up. And also, think about becoming a Patreon member. There are a lot of great perks that are there. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot.